Welcome to Whale.com. Today we're going to build a garden hose reel, but I'm going to build mine a little different. You go to Home Depot and buy all these plastic stuff that breaks after a couple days, a month, who knows? So today I'm going to build one out of aluminum. So we're going to start with cutting our material out of the Koiki plasma cutting table. So let's get started. All right, we made some cuts with the PowerMax Hyperthermum 85 consumable the OEM parts, and we're going to switch them out with a the thermal cut and see how we can pair them. I've done a lot of plasma mark cutting and only used all the OEM parts. So, Thermacut is a maker of aftermarket consumables, and they've come up with smart solutions on how to cut costs by improving the OEM design. The performance is the same as the original. Plus, the savings are passed right on to you. So I'll go ahead and install it on the machine. Now we're ready to make some cuts. So this one I'm pointing at is the OEM cut. Then this one here is a thermocut, consumable cut. So I got our pieces off the Koiki plasma cutting table. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, take the file and deburr everything off of it so it doesn't cut your fingers, it's nice and smooth. And then we'll start the fabrication. As you see, I got my three quarter inch galvanized floor flange laid out on the reel and I got it marked so I'm gonna center punch it. So you want it to be right dead center, otherwise if you don't, it, it'll, it'll roll funny. Everybody knows that. So. Hopefully we got it exactly where we need it and I'll finish punching it and drill it. So I'm gonna install the flange with quarter 20 Phillips head screws, three quarter inch long. And I got some lock nuts I'm gonna put on it. I'm just gonna weld the pipe to it. So that's what you roll the hose up on. So I was finishing up putting the other flange on the other side of the reel. And this is the side where you're gonna get the hose connection with the swivel on it. And then on the inside, of course you're gonna have a 90 with a hose fitting on it. So that's that's what'll connect your hose that goes on the outside of the pipe that's gonna go over this and hide this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a hole in the pipe. Of course you have to have the hole in the pipe to have the hose connection. So the pipe will go over it like that and it'll, make, it'll complete the reel with both sides, just like so. Yeah, let me, I'll just hand tighten this. I'll get as tight as I can and then. In fact, where's that pipe wrench at? Okay, that something's wrong. So I got the pipe cut and I'm gonna slip it over the reel and I'll get it all centered up and exactly where it needs to go and I'll start tacking it up. So I'm gonna go through the settings on this Everlast Power TIG 200 dB and we're welding today some T6061 aluminum. It's not quite, quite eight eighths inch, it's 0 0.09. So I've got it set on 99 amps and it's set for two T no pulse we got a 2t pedal for the remote setting ac of course and then of course the high freak start tig and then we had the pre-flow set at one post flow set at two and then we're not using the pulse so uh, on the ac settings we have the hertz frequency which is set on 100 and then we have the cleaning balance i have it set on 50. and we're going to use the bowler er 4043 332 diameter with an AWS spec of A5.10. So 
So in doing this aluminum fabrication today, I got this little makeshift table that'll work really well. So I'll put a little weld here and a weld on the backside and I'll stand this straight up. And of course, lay my flat bars down and weld them out. And I'll flip this whole thing around and weld the flat bar to the other side of this. So we'll proceed with tacking this stuff up and um, completing the fabrication. So I'm gonna take this piece of flat bar and I'm gonna bend it to an angle to make the handle. So before we go back to talking about the project and the handle I'm gonna tack on it and weld out, I just want to give a big shout out to Lincoln Electric that gave me a nice jacket, leather sleeves, beautiful gloves, double stitched on the inside, really nice. And another option they sent me is this nice, beautiful hood. Check this thing out. Look at the artwork on this. Ain't that cool? I think it's awesome. Thank you, Lincoln Electric. So I got a pipe to hose adapter. Tighten it up. So I got a swivel. And I got a quick disconnect. All right, so I put the nipple in there. Tighten it up. Put the 90 on it. Other nipple with 90. And the handle. And that completes the assembly. Thanks for watching today. If you have questions or need help, go to our forum and connect with us at well.com forward slash forum. If you want to check out exclusive content and member perks, join our channel and support the well.com community. See you on the next one.